Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCM Radio Network. Live from Austin, Texas, broadcasting worldwide, it's Alex Jones. The long-legged Mac Daddy Barack Hussein Obama. Ladies and gentlemen, we're live already on the second day of February 2014, well into the second month of 2014. And you want it, you got it. Super Bowl 48 coverage. We're going to talk all about Peyton Manning and what a great man he is and how he focuses on winning the game and what a leader he is. Not on human colonies going into deep space, not on life extension technologies, not on knowing how society really works and having a free country. Man, if men got into all the factoids of freedom and business and life, we'd have men again who were in charge and running their families and running their lives. And we'd have governments that were on short leashes. But we don't because men now are experts on all the moves in the male soap opera that is the NFL. And look, I'll be honest with you, uh, I like football as much as the next person. The problem is, is that it's such a vehicle of propaganda now for the establishment more than ever. We have this history of authoritarian regimes from Rome to Nazi Germany right through to North Korea today. And using basketball as a control system countrywide, that we know it can become hijacked and very, very sick. So I wanted to be fair today. We're going to have live coverage uh, from East Rutherford, where Jakari Jackson and, of course, Josh Owens are there reporting live. They're about to go into the Super Bowl. They're going to be covering it all for us during and after the game tonight. And then with uh, Aftermath tomorrow uh, on the weekday transmission. But right before the show, I came up with the bad column and the good column here uh, of... NFL and professional sports in general. And in the bad column, and I'm going to detail these in the next segment, NFL sports is parasitic, gives false dreams, police state promo, government becomes the heroes, the basic corruption, the diversion from reality, uh, the historical connection to gladiators and decline, bad role models, uh, male soap opera, arrested development, anti-gun, pro-Obama, uh, the NFL messages, People only talk about sports, nothing else. It kills the culture. Use to suppress real male activities. Takes over the area of the brain meant for planning and survival. That is the, 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 the bad areas. And then we have the good areas here. Uh, pro manly man, no guts, no glory. Work hard, you can succeed. Sports good for kids and adults to play. Keeping competition alive, something the uh, establishment wants to uh, schools banning dodgeball, not letting people be A students, um, teaches sportsmanlike conduct, how to win, how to lose. Because as the old Aerosmith song says, you got to lose before you can know how to win. So there's some positive aspects as well. We've got all the news uh, breaking on it. But don't worry, Obama tweeted today a photo of himself throwing a football. And he has hogged up Fox Television. It's on local TV here and all over the country with him putting on his propaganda for an hour before the game with uh, Bill O'Reilly. So this is the system forcing itself into our lives, just like uh, the, 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 the attack choppers and the, the gunboats and the TSA and the bomb sniffing dogs. Oh, we're the heroes. We're the government protecting you from the Al-Qaeda and Taliban. Just one big problem. They publicly run the Taliban and Al-Qaeda overseas and then open the door up for them here so they can be heroes. So that's all coming up. We got a big, big lineup for you. But don't worry, they have men in military uniforms as the defense force uh, of our precious game. Oh, the evil outsiders, they might try to attack 
the precious NFL. Give me a big, fat, stinking break. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate, we have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with the new Pro One filters today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. He aligns himself with the truth, and it's time for you to choose a side. You're listening to Alex Jones. My love is in to the freeway. It's fashion will ride as the cities fly by. And the taillights dissolve in the coming of night. I'm going to be honest with people. I have a love-hate relationship with professional sports. I grew up playing football myself and sitting there every Sunday and, of course, Monday nights with my parents growing up in Dallas, Texas, uh, watching people like Roger Staubach uh, play and being coached uh, by people like Tom Landry, who my grandfather was really good friends with and also roommate with at the University of Texas. Uh, and then later at SMU as well. But the whole point is that it has become a national sickness. And in any decadent society that is degenerating, sports is going to be central, just like in North Korea, Communist China, Nazi Germany, or Soviet Russia. It is a fact that going back to the time of Rome, and even before that with the original Olympics with the Greeks, that it would become a substitute for normal human struggles, normal human activities, and really is the first false reality where people cease to be independent players in the game of life themselves and become spectators like in Plato's cave, watching an image projected on the wall, not actually living themselves. Sports has become the proto-matrix of human society and development. And we've got fans collapsing waiting in New Jersey there in East Rutherford because they don't let cars approach uh, the stadium because of the imaginary terrorist. And the hero government, though, of course, with gunships and checkpoints is going to keep us safe. But we're going to have uh, Jakari Jackson reporting live via video and audio feeds for radio and TV viewers and listeners uh, coming up in, in the next segment. Then I will continue with an analysis of sports and propaganda uh, itself in the main state. But before I do all of that and uh, break this down, let me just go to a little write-up. Uh, that I did before the show today, dealing with the bad elements, in my view, of professional sports uh, here and also in North Korea, and, and, and how it's used in Latin America to suppress the population as well. And then we're going to get into the good aspects from my perspective. And then we'll open the phones up uh, in the last segment of this hour into the second hour on this live second day of February 2014, Super Bowl 48 extravaganza. With InfoWars.com and yours truly, Alex Jones. And we'll continue the discussion into the weekday show uh, tomorrow, 11 a.m. Central to 2 p.m. Eastern, or 11 a.m. Central, 2 p.m. Central, uh, and then it occurs 12 to 3 p.m. Eastern. And I'll be on two hours tonight on Coast to Coast AM with George Norrie discussing this topic uh, and engineered economic collapse, Agenda 21, and so much more on over 500 stations across the country as well. So Peyton Manning works very hard to win at football. I work very hard at knowing how the world works. And then I see other men knowing all about football, baseball, uh, basketball scores. They're not stupid. They're just, their minds are filled with stuff that doesn't matter unless they're professional gamblers, I guess. And then it's almost unmanly to know about geopolitics, the stock market, the way politicians operate. 
to know how the world really works. That's like weird and almost forgotten or unknown. But to know all about sports, and, and that being the only topic of conversation, well, that's seen as a virtue. But let's go over these points. He, here's what I see in the bad column uh, for the worship of sports in places like North Korea, Mexico, the United States, ancient Rome, uh, you name it. Any declining society, sports become more and more important. No one can deny that. It's a gladiatorial diversion. Piggy bank uh, for the establishment to make unlimited cash, and then, of course, they're tax exempt. And that's number one out of the 13 points. Uh, there's many more that I say are negative. It's parasitic. You've got the NFL itself being tax exempt, most of the owner's profits being tax exempt, uh, the game's security paid for by federal, state, and local tax money. Uh, just the whole thing is a giant parasitic action. And then even the tax exemption of the owners becomes a tax write-off, like Bill and Melinda Gates are involved in as well. They're not really, why is it every billionaire is a philanthropist? Because when you get into that club, you don't pay taxes anymore. Part of your earnings goes to so-called charities. It's really social engineering. So there you go. It's very, very parasitic. The billion dollar, billion and a half dollar stadiums people pay for, you know, all because the owners take out the local idiot city council, just like Formula One here in Austin. Eccleston makes billions and billions a year and is tax exempt. I mean, it's a total sick joke. False dreams. There's only a few thousand slots in professional sports. Uh, but most kids think they're going to be movie stars, rock stars, uh, or sports stars. I mean, that, everyone I know thinks they're going to be a movie star, a rock star, a sports star. And they just try their whole life and are completely unfulfilled and unhappy. Whereas they could have studied uh, any engineering or business uh, or mowing lawns, for that matter, and how to hire more crews under you. I know a lot of guys own lawn trimming companies that make $10 million a year. There's a lot of slots to do that around restaurants. But there's, there's not a lot of slots uh, to be a, a sports star. Plus, once you get into it, you learn it's not fulfilling anyways, on average. One of the least fulfilling things out there. Continuing, it's a police state promo. This is a big chance for the government to pose as the savior and have, you know, defense forces to protect everyone from the imaginary threat and project the idea that Al-Qaeda even exists outside of what the CIA is publicly funding, a.k.a. look at Syria, Libya, and Egypt. Uh, so it makes the number four government heroes, uh, the corruption, the, the uh, child trafficking, the prostitutes, the drug dealing, all the corruption that goes on with it. Uh, just the spectacle of uh, the diversion from reality, all the real things that are going on in the world, the fact that no one will talk about anything but sports with you shows they can talk about nothing but sports. It's actually pretty pitiful. Uh, again, history, I already mentioned this, gladiators, the fact that we're in decline, you know, we laugh at Dennis Rodman going over to North Korea. Basketball is king in North Korea. So just like we can see from the outside what a joke it is, well, we're a joke here as well. Uh, again, bad role models, all the pit bull fighting, all the gangsterism uh, of the NFL. I mean, it's, 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 uh, it's pretty sick. You know, I'm glad Terry Bradshaw, when his dad died, is not going to be presenting the trophy and went to be with his dad. People are like, well, that's incredible. He should... He's been at every one of these games for decades. Well, his dad's important, not the stinking game. And again, it gets into that whole sickness of where it comes number one. And then you build your whole life around being a spectator. You're not in the arena. That's why authoritarian regimes push sports because it keeps you on your butt and worried about factoids about sports, not about business, not about the game of life that's a war, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Now, again, it's also a giant male soap opera, again, of arrested development. No one can deny that, uh, that, that, that it's something kids are supposed to be obsessed with sports, not men. Uh, and that's been marveled at by many social engineers. Uh, you've got the anti-gun message uh, that is in... You've got the anti-gun message... Uh, that is being put into all the different uh, sports and, and NFL. You've got Obama in Monday Night Football replacing Hank Williams Jr. Uh, you've got the, 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 the pro-Obama messages and Obama coming on the hour, you know, uh, two hours before the Super Bowl for a full hour with Bill O'Reilly on the Fox affiliate stations, force-feeding someone no one wants to look at, no one wants to hear from that's incredibly unpopular and trying to become a, a dictator. Uh, they're banning gun ads that don't even show guns that just promote the right to keep and bear arms and fatherhood like Daniel Defense. I mean, it's disgusting 
what it's turned into. And that's why record low viewers, record low ticket sales, because people are saying they're sick of it.